Hi Libra, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher? <laughs> you could be dealing with a Libra and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below. Just know, I know I said this last week, but I am gonna be closing them out for the rest of the year, probably today, tomorrow, or the next day. So if you wanna book your session, it won't, they, there might be some ones open at the beginning of December, but mid-December would be more than likely. Anyway. Or you can just subscribe your email to my website. That way you always get an email notification when my availability opens up. As always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. Oh, and what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, follow me over on Instagram. I've been posting a lot more on the quantum physics stuff over there. So yeah, you can do that. And just FYI, you will probably see cats floating in and out of here. <laughs> okay, Libra. Five of Swords, I am going to take that. That's the stalemate that goes along perfectly with this energy. We have the Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with possibly a water sign. There's Aquarius here. Hey, come out of there. Well, let me finish this because... She is our, no, that's my boy. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy, and Knight of Swords. Okay. Eight of Swords, sorry. All right. Um, this is inter interesting. So I feel like this is kind of perfect. That's why I was mentioning my Instagram because I just made an update about this. Sorry for the distraction, guys. <laughs> okay, come here. It's too much, honey. Come here. All right. So yes, over here we have on one side of a situation where I've been pretty much calling this my disengage card, where you are seeing that this is a round and round situation, you can't really get anywhere because so it's like you and a particular person you've just kind of shadow projected. This is like the quantum level stuff that's going on. It could have been things from your subconscious, especially this whole Scorpio season plus the lunar eclipse. Just dive over to my Instagram because I explained it there. But you could be kind of like in this mode. I actually wonder if Libra, you could be kind of trapped in your thoughts, maybe some overthinking. This this can be the shadow side of when Libra gets too in the air element. The shadow side of the mind becoming just so, so overactivated, okay? And I feel like that's what's going on for in a, in a way right now. You know what's interesting with this whole thing about the thoughts? I feel like in a way this is this is a repeating energy tied to some type of thought process that you have that was tied to your childhood. Like this is a this is a small child and it's like you think you're trapped, but there's the opening here. You can step out anytime. You can move into this energy, but something about your thoughts, sometimes this can be PTSD. It can be trauma responses that replay a loop in your mind where you're constantly going back and forth on something because you're replaying a situation in the past where you did have to get out of a situation that was like pretty scary. And so you're like, wow, you know, this is what's making you feel trapped is this process that you had to go through. And it's interesting. I mean, some of you guys could be legit dealing with it right now, but it also could just be a lot in your mind. Okay. And over here, so sorry, I skipped over that part and just jumped right in. So you have, that's a part of the illusion. Okay. Cause you have the moon, which is fear, anxieties, delusion, confusion, caution. Cause you feel like you might have to take a risk in some way on something to go through growth. But do you know what's interesting? I feel like you guys, you know that this is awakening. This is like awakening a new path for you. And you know that this is like where you're meant to be at this time. And you're going to move into a pretty pivotal energy. 
as far as some of you guys, it could be waking up to a new ambition and a purpose, but it's like your guides, <laughs> the higher font, this is like, this is advice. This could be also coming in as advice from a particular person, maybe a highly spiritual person. See the vibration around this person? It's like they could have maybe elevated in some ways. And I wonder if you're your guides are kind of like <laughs> taking you to a place and you're kind of digging your heels in to some type of growth. Let's see. But that's the eclipse energy. It's definitely coming into your read. So let's see here. Yeah, this sucks. So just bear with my stupid freaking cards. Okay. So, Libra, we have Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> There's the slow, cautious, slow and steady wins the race, which is good. I think that you are just kind of like, rather than being impulsive, and this is what I've been seeing a lot, I think this is a good advice card, especially at this time, is nothing really impulsive, you know, because the lunar eclipse will activate and stimulate so much energy it could feel like anxiety and fears it could even activate like quite a bit of your reptilian brain and your fight or flight mode um i just saw that specifically <coughs> excuse me so interestingly there is an energy coming in here it, there's the queen of cups you have the chalice it doesn't have to be a water sign. I mean, there is an emphasis on Aquarius, but this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But there is, this is my light at the end of the tunnel card. And I wonder if you've got a couple of energies that are popping in here that are kind of showing the way out of maybe a dark night. They're kind of like, highlighting a path for you showing you how to maybe integrate parts of your shadow and and change your thought processes and change your mind because once you can change the story that you tell yourself in your mind then the the real stuff begins you actually make some shifts in yourself because it all starts with the brain the thoughts and the chemicals that get released into your body it's gonna it's going to vibrate in the cells and that's going to determine a lot of the frequency that you pull into so if you guys are kind of pulling into gratitude and kind of feeling gratitude in advance for the next chapter that you are going to be in there's the full card there's the leap so let's see let's see how far are we in yeah that took me a while to say <laughs> you guys are probably bored all right see what comes out here. Libra. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot of that. Oh, there's courage. <laughs> okay, that was perfect, actually. And then we have got, let me pull, were there others that flipped? No. Okay. I'm going to start with those. And then we will start pulling from there. So, overall, this is like a facing your fears energy. And it's interesting. This is courage. And it's this whole connection that you have to your heart and where your heart is leading you to your transformation and growth. And I feel like that's what's coming up to the surface for you is you're trying to tame your fears and become friends with your fears rather than letting them completely consume you and possibly even keep you stuck in some way, shape or form. Cause that's this eight of swords feeling trapped in your mind. Okay. <laughs> there you are. King of swords. Don't get caught up on gender. All right. And we have, this is a very interesting energy, which I'm going to put directly in the past, interestingly, because I feel as though there have been some relationships where you, you could have lost focus or you felt like there wasn't enough work that was being put into these relationships that you were dealing with, whatever these are. This could be family members or collaborations, maybe even in a work environment or romantic relationships. This is kind of what you were dealing with possibly in the past. And you have this awareness of it, okay? Because you do have, again, that five of swords. So it's kind of like 
that could have been a part of the thing that you learned and you have an awareness of with this king of swords king of swords is very mature in the mind okay sees things clearly doesn't get really pulled in by illusions and like grandiose images and love bombing like none of that this person sees everything like this is who this person is they're very aware archetypally ten of pentacles is at the bottom so that to me is monetary um things the sun card upside down okay that's i think a part of the effect or in your mind you could be kind of maybe feeling you want to be positive and maybe you even have moments at times that's the vibrational lift though that's maybe some type of elevation in some way coming in it may be in your mind things might be coming more positive or something we have the three of pentacles upside down there that could be a collaboration not coming together six of swords right there yes moving away from some type of chaos oh shoot 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 Sorry, that is my kitten, and she's playing, or he's playing with the cord. Let me move him. Four of Cups. Things are not boring for you. <laughs> That's what that feels like to me. Four of Wands in the mind is, that is what on your what is on your mind. This could be about home, joy in the home. Some of you guys, this could be about marriage or commitments. So that could be something that's like, for some reason, pretty significant in your mind right now is maybe coming together with a particular person that you maybe you're realizing like the important uh, come the importance of coming together with the right person and creating a partnership so there's that but that also could be a particular person that you are thinking about that it would be a potential with okay sorry guys god all right well look at this there's the Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups upside down. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we have, that's a new beginning there. It could be a new home, something new, tangible coming in. That could be new, new job, new way to make money, new line of income. It feels like, what is that Knight of Cups upside down though? I feel as though, Libra, I wonder if there's a particular person, male or female, that's around you that you, like, know they have interest in you, but they're not really coming forward with a proposition or offer. They haven't come in yet. That's what it's showing me. It's like, there's still a development happening. The tower upside down. Six of cups upside down. Okay, I'm going to tell you this just as an FYI little last message, okay? Um, I do feel like there is a little bit of a two-sided energy here, all right? There's this Three of Cups, the Three of Pentacles upside down, and this energy right here feels like to me that you did have a breakup or some type of tower moment with someone from the past. Just FYI, it's still kind of lingering in your energy. I wouldn't be too surprised that this new energy that you move towards that feels grounded and you feel like stable in this new energy, like a new home or something, or a new partnership. It could be something like that, that you start dating someone or you start coming together with someone. This person from the past is going to resurface, just FYI. Like, this either could be for you, you you have someone from your past resurface, or vice versa. Someone that you are seeing has a past person that is like maybe trying to get their way back in and maybe disturb this process because this means that it will be to a complete conclusion. So I can see all of it playing out here. It's up to you. Like I can't say very much or do very much. But I can see here that you're ready to release this. This is a good energy because it's telling me that you're coming out of maybe some grief or this huge disappointment that something didn't work out. You're actually moving out of that. So that's interesting, releasing the past and releasing a lot of tower moments that took place for you. It kind of feels like you're overcoming that in some way. But... <laughs> It has changed you. I will say that for sure. Whatever this did, it pushed you into a different form of seeing people, seeing things, seeing what is important to you and not really 
playing games anymore like you're done with those games because they make you feel trapped they make you feel like you're not moving forward the way that you want to so interesting the way it's coming out i think recommendation wise i would just follow that light follow the light at the end of the tunnel and go absorb photons as much as possible you guys know i'm crazy about that like sun gazing or watching sunsets whatever way that you need to get it start pulling in that energy as much as possible okay my loves i'm gonna leave it there libra so no extended for this week i hope you guys got something useful from this with that being said sending you so much love wishing you all the very best and i'll see you in your next reading take care